Hi, I am Michael Raff, age 42, and I am a recent survivor of heart disease. I had mitral valve prolapse and was diagnosed with that in 1996. In 2011, I was diagnosed with high blood pressure. In 2012, beginning of the year, I was very active and healthy and running three miles three times a week and working out at the gym. Yet, I started feeling chest pains and my health was deteriorating. I went to the cardiologist and the cardiologist confirmed that I now had bileaflet syndrome and my mitral valve was basically deteriorating and I required open heart surgery. On November 29, 2012, I went, underwent open heart surgery. The surgeons and my cardiologist told me that the reason that I was able to survive to get the surgery was because I was already active and physically fit and healthy prior to my valve deteriorating. After the surgery, I had decided that I wanted to get back into running and I knew I needed to be physically fit. In the hospital, they gave me a rehab schedule of doing walks every day and had given me a goal of wanting to walk eight or two miles per day after about the eight week point. And I decided that that was going to be about right. And I started setting some goals for running and decided that by March 16th of 2013, I would walk a 5K race or 3.1 miles. And then I was going to be able to run my first 5K race nonstop by July 4th, 2013. To my surprise, I shattered those goals. I was determined and felt better as I came home from recovery. Six weeks after, after the surgery, I decided to join a Couch to 5K program in which they train people who are normally couch potatoes and have never run before to be able to run a 5K race after eight weeks. I did that program and it was a little struggle at first, but we started out with a minute walk and a minute run for 20 minutes. And each day I got stronger and stronger. Much to my surprise, I shattered my first goal, and on February 15, 2013, I had already did a combination walk-run of a 5K race during American Heart Association Month. On March 9, 2013, I ran my first 5K race, well ahead of my goal. As I continued to train and realized I was getting better, I decided to now start training for a 10K race, or 6.2 miles. And on April 20, 2013, just 142 days post-surgery, I was able to run a 10K race in just over an hour. I felt better and felt stronger. Currently, it's August of 2013, just nine months from the surgery, and I'm training for a half marathon, 13.1 miles, which I'll run October 12th. Yesterday, I ran nine miles non-stop and felt in great shape. Today, I ran two miles, and I continue to train, and I'm averaging about 20 miles a week. What I have to thank for all of this is the fact that I was healthy beforehand. And some people will develop heart disease because of being obese or out of shape, and even those that are healthy and in shape, just genetics say that, you're going, that, that you can't control genetics, but what you can control is living. And I have to say that I continue to run and train because I want to keep this second chance alive and keep a heart healthy and a hard life. Hi, my name is Anna Griffin, and I'm one of the coordinators for the Mississippi Gulf Coast Men and Little Walks. Men and Little Walks is a support group that offers hope and support to children, families, and caregivers that have been impacted by congenital heart disease. Men and Little Hearts is important to me personally because I have become friends with other heart parents that have offered hope and courage and inspired me through my son's unpredictable heart journey. Also, I know that I'm not alone. When my son Asher, who is two years old, was born with a congenital heart defect, our entire world stopped. He was born with tetralogy of the lobe, with pulmonary atresia, and he also has hypoplastic branch pulmonary arteries. He remains in pulmonary hypertension today. He has bravely endured two open heart surgeries and four heart casts today, and he will require lifelong specialized cardiac care. 
The American Heart Association has been an integral part in his survival because if it were not for the heart medications and the medical equipment that they helped develop, my son would not have survived his diagnosis at birth. The American Heart Association has raised, has helped to continue to find cures for research for congenital heart defects. As of now, there is no known cure for heart defects, only treatments, medications, or surgery. That is why the American Heart Association Heart Walk in September is so important to me and other heart families. It is a powerful thing to be a part of over 10,000 people joining together for one cause, to offer hope and honor those that they love that have been affected by heart disease. Won't you join us in this fight? Little hearts hold big hopes. Heart Walk is important to me. This year, my husband, Donnie, he's 48 years old, was put on the heart transplant list on June 10th of this year. He suffers from atrial fibrillation, two leaking valves, congestive heart failure, and had three stents put in. Uh, he has always had high blood pressure, which was controlled by medication. We had it under control, didn't know anything was wrong. He took to being sick. We went, were in and out of the hospital, spent 11 days in, in the hospital here on the coast, and was transported up to University Medical Center of Mississippi in Jackson, where we spent an additional 12 days. This is where we went through extensive testing for the heart transplant. He is a category two. He is surviving. He ha he takes his, has medication. We make two, three, four trips a month, and looks in different procedures every two to three months, from right heart cath to being diagnosed to have a defibrillator pacemaker put in. This is why I chose to speak for the Heart Association. <music> Hi, I'm Jeff Gerard, Chief Operations Officer at Keesler Federal Credit Union. 
The heartwarming videos that you watched are testimonials of the impact of heart disease and the continuing medical advancements in treatment. They also serve as a constant reminder of the impact that heart disease and stroke have on our families, our friends, and neighbors here on the Mississippi Gulf Coast. Keesler Federal Credit Union and its employees are very proud to be part of this year's HeartWalk campaign. In recent years, our employees have raised thousands of dollars each year for the campaign. This year, in 2013, our Board of Directors provided support to the local chapter of the American Heart Association and Keesler Federal hosted the first annual Survivor Soiree. In addition, our employees have raised over $20,000 for the Heart Walk. We are very proud, once again, to be part of the efforts to reduce heart disease and stroke on the Mississippi Gulf Coast and want to thank all of you and the community for being part of this effort.